Hi, it's Dr. Martha Lucas with another episode of 10 Minutes of TCM Training. This is a unique way for practitioners to build their practice 10 minutes at a time. And if you are a patient receiving acupuncture or Chinese medicine or someone who is just curious about Chinese medicine and acupuncture, during these podcasts, I will be explaining what happens during treatment so you can understand how Chinese medicine works better. I am a research psychologist and practitioner of Chinese medicine, also known as an acupuncturist. My physical practices are located in Denver and Littleton, Colorado, and I also do worldwide telehealth. Today is episode number five, and we are going to be talking about what are called the back shoe points. Now, these are energetic acupuncture points. Well, all the points are energetic, but these particular points are on the back. And what they are considered to be are where the energy of the organs is infused or where the energy of the organs can um, kind of get in there and, and stay. I use them a lot for releasing emotional energy. I feel like people tend to push their emotions back a lot. And when those back shoe points get stagnated, it can start to lead to physical symptoms. Also, I treat trauma release therapy. I do it with acupuncture and Chinese medicine. And uh, when people have been traumatized from something outside themselves, I have a, a special way that I use those points. So today we are going to talk about those. By the way, you can listen to my podcasts on Anchor, Spotify, or my YouTube channel, Dr. Martha Lucas. So let's get to sharing this knowledge about the back shoe point. <clears throat> the lung back shoe is bladder 13. It is at the level of T3 on the back. So I'm also going to talk about the thoracic or the lumbar level where the points are located, which would help practitioners find them a little bit better. So lung, bladder 13 at the level of T3, and, it, and actually do 12 happens to be there also on the do or the governing vessel channel. The pericardium back shoe is bladder 14 at level T4. The heart back shoe point is bladder 15 at the level of T5 and also governing vessel or do 11, as I said, on the do channel. The do back shoe is bladder 16 at the level of T6, along with do 10 on the governing vessel or the do channel. The diaphragm and pancreas back shoe point is bladder 17, level T7, do 9. The liver back shoe point is bladder 18 at the level with T9. Now we skip T8, and it's with do 8, level with do 8. Gallbladder back shoe is bladder 19 at the level of T10, and with on the do channel, the level of do seven. The spleen back shoe is bladder 20 at the level of T11 and at the level of do six. The stomach back shoe is bladder 21 at the level of T12. Now into the lumbar. Sanjiao back shoe, bladder 22 at the level of L1 and the same level as do five. The kidney back shoe is bladder 23, level with L2 and do four. The chi high back shoe point is bladder 24 at the level of lumbar three. Large intestine back shoe is bladder 25 at the level of L4 and level with do or governing vessel three. Guan Yuan, Back shoe is bladder 26, level with L5. And then we have small intestine back shoe, which is bladder 27, which is level with 
S1. And then we have the urinary bladder back shoe, which is bladder 28 and is level with S2. So you can see that the levels, we have the level L5S1, where a lot of people have problems. A lot of people have back pain that has, uh, where L5S1, for some people it's auto-fused, which means that your body fuses it itself. It has, um, you know, maybe you've had issues there or whatever. And so you can see that bladder 26 and bladder 27 would be outer points, back shoe points that maybe you would use to help open up the energy in that lower back area because fusions cause stagnation, obviously. The paraspinal muscles next to those vertebrae can't work so well, they get stiff. And honestly, what starts to happen is if oxygen and blood doesn't flow through our muscles, they can eventually kind of calcify, which means they really, really start to not move at all. And then we end up having some stiffness and pain. And what acupuncture can help do is studies have shown for years that it helps reduce the inflammation of issues like that. Like for example, arthritis, it helps reduce inflammation of arthritis to relieve pain. And it also gets can get more oxygen and blood into those muscles re-stimulate those muscles, get those muscles more supple so that they move well. So that's another way to uh, think about these or um, up near the diaphragm back shoe, bladder 17 at the level of T7. Remember the diaphragm goes from the spine to the front, it, it attaches. And so if someone is having a hard time breathing, I often open up the acupuncture points that affect the diaphragm, which in this case, in the list of back shoe points would be bladder 17, or it's at the level of do nine. So you could certainly do open up do nine also needle do nine. So the, that's, again, it's, it's a, we think of the back shoe points as energetic, lighting energy out, um, expressing, allowing, our emotions to express by opening up the back shoes, but also they can be used to treat physical conditions in a more local way. So like the uh, tight diaphragm, someone who has, is so stagnated emotionally, they can't feel like they can take a deep breath. Also, I recommend palpating under the rib cage in the front to see how tight the diaphragm is, because sometimes we need to do some twina or um, Chinese medical massage called gua sha therapy to help that open up. So there's your information about the back shoe points. I have described, named them, told you where they are, what uh, vertebrae they are level with, and if they are level with one of the do or the governing channel um, points. So as I said, this is 10 minutes of TCM training, and it's where I share my knowledge about Chinese medicine because Chinese medicine is a medicine, not a mystery. It is a complete system of medicine that treats internal medicine issues, mental emotional issues, and spirit issues. It's not just for treating pain. So remember, if you know anything about me as practitioners, it's that I don't do Chinese medicine. I like to uh, take each individual on their own, do their own pulse diagnosis, and make my prescriptions or the treatments uh, point selection at that moment to help that patient to treat the cause of what's going on with them. So thanks again for listening to this episode of 10 Minutes of TCM Training. I am Dr. Martha Lucas, and if you want to learn more about the topic I discussed today or my classes as a practitioner, visit lucasteachings.com, L-U-C-A-S, teachings.com. Or if you are a patient interested in even long-distance therapy across the world, you can check out my website, acupuncturewoman.com. And or you may email me at drmlucas at acupuncturewoman.com. That's D-R-M-L-U-C-A-S at acupuncturewoman.com. Take care. And if you can, take care of someone else too.